How do you mean you do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers? Unbelievers are not only out there, starting from within your house. Many lost their purpose. Many lost the will of God because of what they tasted and held on. This one is a tough bite to swallow. Swallow it. Swallow it, my son. Swallow it, my daughter. Swallow it, men and women of God. Swallow it. It's a tough bite to swallow it. Solid food. Swallow it. Allow development to take you through that kind of fasting of milk. And it becomes a tough bite to swallow. By now, we all ought to be teachers. After we finish with this fasting, what will be driving you? Value spiritual blessing. That's how you realize that you're spiritually blessed. You'll attract a lot of things and you will know that now I'm on the journey. I've been kicked out. I'm in danger now. Don't condemn yourself and say, I have deceived. It's the purpose and the will of God. It's what you will meet. Forty stripes minus one, being stoned, facing cold weather, sleepless nights, coming through hunger, coming through driven into fasting, openly so, born in your flesh. You'll be able to discern which one is an attack and which one is not an attack. You will know that here I am driven now. Somebody coming out with you, you your fingers fighting you, minister of people. In the midst of you begin to discern yourself and say, by the way, this I'm the elect. I'm not an ordinary one. I'm separated and set apart for God in order to be conformed. So I must be insulted. Blessed are you when you are mocked with the blessing. Let me be mocked this way and accept it with pleasure. And say thank you after they mock you. Work on it. Knowing that now I've been driven. This is a journey. Why these things are so common? After two, three days, two, three days, same thing, similar thing. So I am driven. Let my bones feel it now. For it's the fire going deep in my bones. The presence of God will not be just in the atmosphere. It's meant to be shut up in my bones. And when Jeremiah said, I no longer do it because it's tough. I no longer speak about this name. All of a sudden he finds himself driven into preaching, into speaking about him because it's now shut, in, it's shut up in his bones. He's living without choice. He becomes a son without choice. Then God will say, my son, my son, I'm pleased in you. My son. My son. Bringing into John 4 without food, tired and courageous to say, my food, my meat is to do the will of the one who sent me. I food to eat that you know nothing about. Not driven by venison, not driven by bribe. Not driven by bread. Many lost the purpose of God due to one thing. What they love, what they crave. The God of peace shall be with you. Which type of peace? Jacob went in peace. And he fought with the angel. Fighting with God. And that angel does not appear good because he's fighting you. God is supposed to protect you. This fight, you said, now I'll never leave you until you bless me. Breaking the hip, it's the most painful thing. He said, I will never leave you. You're no longer Jacob. You are an Israelite indeed. Now John 1 comes. Nathaniel. A man with no guile. An Israelite indeed. You believe because I said I saw you under the fig tree. Anybody could say this. Anybody could prophesy. You will see greater things in my presence.
spiritually blessed, heaven shall open. You will see angels ascending and descending upon the Son of Man who came in flesh. You'll be able to see through him, for the veil is opened. Whatever you've seen in me, the Apostle Paul said, or learn from me, put it into practice, and the God of peace shall be with you. So Rebecca put it into practice right within her household. Rebecca held on to God's promise. When Isaac was old, eyes dim, seeing now I'm about to die, it's only at the end when Rebecca spoke direct to Isaac. And Hebrews 11 says, Isaac from afar, he blessed Isaac and Esau. After Jacob left, after 20 years, he meets with Esau, he cry, tears of joy. The purpose of God at the end. One who entertains such can miss it and never meet Jacob. If Esau was going to entertain it further, how would he meet with Jacob? How was he going to meet with Jacob? If Isaac on the way never, never turned to the truth, how was he going to come fulfillment of the son of the promise? Let's live for Jesus Christ. How was it going to happen to be the fulfillment of the promise? So many, they appear as servants of God. And then descendants of Abraham, so am I. What are they doing according to the flesh? You don't want to end up being rulers and leaders of this age who are doomed to pass away because they did not acknowledge plan that was hidden in the past age. They could not perceive it. So how would Esau escape if he was going to entertain it further? How would Isaac escape if he was going to entertain it further? That people who are Christians, they entertain it further. As Paul mentions in 2 Corinthians 11, they are servants. He says, am I not the servants of God as well? But they entertained it further. They entertain it further. Are you entertaining it further? A prophet does no honor in his own town, even within his house and out there. One is not scared to preach about this when it's through experience. You went into it in order to teach others. Jacob went into it in order to teach others how to come out of the very pit. Sold in order to teach those who have been sold to be servants. He prospered more than his masters to teach others to prosper. Jacob prospered more than his father-in-law. He prospered more than his father-in-law realized that this man is now a king here. Go. It's best that he should go. Jacob, Joseph prospered more than his masters. He prospered more than his masters. Ah, uh, they said he was sold to show that he was the most expensive slave. He was sold to the mixed Arabian, the wealthy people. The mixed Arabians are the people, one of the lineages of people who went to, G to the birth of Jesus, who calculated stars, the wealthiest people, the most wealthy. Joseph was sold there because he was the most expensive place. He still prospered even more than them. This Potiphar is the only one who could afford him. While he was there, nothing could afford him. Now, what? She couldn't now jail. Now it is God who will exalt you as you humble yourself. He said, David, I humbled myself through fasting and prayer. Even though God did not answer, it was a revelation that God does not answer. I went on with fasting. Because some when God answers, they break. So when God does not answer, it's a revelation. Because many don't know if God answered or not. They just break without even knowing. God is it to open your eyes to see and hear in his presence. To know the negative, to know the positive. 
which work together for good for those who love him. It is what God, it is what God has prepared for those who love him. Because no eyes see, no ears heard. But you can see what God has prepared. God loves you. Be driven. You see, a spiritual blessing comes upon you. As spiritual blessings come upon you, you attract many things. I just speak something that is common. One of my sons is watching, and he knows. And he met with people, high ranking people, who've been saying that man is, is attracting things. And that son knows by experience. Par experience. But what prospers against spiritual blessings? Then no weapon formed against, you must get it, us include spiritual blessings. Ah, somebody does not get it. No weapon formed against spiritual blessings because we were chosen in Christ, in, in. And those who are in Christ, there's no condemnation. No weapon formed against spiritual blessings shall prosper. No spiritual blessings attract such. You enter into a building, you are amongst people. The atmosphere changes. You become the most hated one. You begin to do the work just as many do the work. The atmosphere changes because now you are the new kid in the block who changes the situation. It's because of spiritual blessings which attract such. They change the atmosphere. They send when the atmosphere is not right. When the atmosphere it removes the bad atmosphere and the right atmosphere comes in. That's why Jesus going to different towns. It will say, go in there full of the spirit. This confronting spirit that are there. Full of the spirit. And that's why they started. He said, a prophet does not have honor in his house, from within his house, among his relatives and out there. And they begin to say, we know his father. We know his mother, we know his brothers and sisters. And what are these things that he do? Because they were offended. What are these things that he's doing? We know his relatives, but it's not like his relatives. Spiritual blessings are upon him now. He's not like them. He's not like them. A true prisoner of Christ is the one who is driven. You're not going to just fast after this. You'll be driven into fasting. You'll be driven into hunger. You'll be able to discern that this sleepless night, I'm being driven here now. What's the purpose of this? Now you have to pray. My father, in no in tongues. Speak to me now. You don't have to speak to this evil. Speak to me now. You directly speak to God. He gives you mysteries. When you go out, you deal with this evil. God loves you. You will discern every moment why your colleagues hate you, why your colleagues don't love you. You will discern the moment of, ah, before I could work here, before I was in this environment, everybody was peaceful. Why when I came in, being quiet as I am, not saying anything, not done anything and doing everything correct, why is the situation like this? You will be driven by the love from above, by peace from above. And this is the peace that transcends all understanding. You will never miss the prophetic message directly from heaven in your life. As you don't focus on food for stomach and stomach for food, God will destroy them both. It takes you out of the purpose of God. And that's what happened with Isaac. His father Abraham never reached that moment. His eyes were not dim. He could even go to a battle and fight. And his mother was giving birth to children. Be 
Enter God's rest. Delight in God's purpose. It says Isaac loved Esau and Rebecca loved Jacob. What's the reason? Isaac chose to be with a nation that God hated. Rebecca chose to be with a nation that God loved. Until Isaac came back and became the son of the promise. Until Esau came back. And Isaac blessed Isaac and Esau from afar. You love your mate. You can't even fast. You are not at the stage where one is not controlled by food. Who will you bless? Who will you lead? Who will you bless? Who will you lead? Qualification of a shepherd is someone who goes according to the purpose of God. Not driven by what they eat, by the flesh, or by the world. Prayer and fasting. Check this, meditate upon this teaching. And check how many go out of their purpose. There are many offers that will come as you are chosen by God. Many offers. Many people to go with. Who do you welcome and who do you accept? Or who do you reject? When one turns away from you, sometimes it's not you who turn away. God removes them. And when God removes them, rejoice. When people leave you, don't cry and say people are leaving me. God removes them from you. There are those whom you will remove. There are those whom God will remove. As long as you are not stressed when they are gone, you are not depressed on a soul. Why force? The joy of the Lord is still there. You read on your own those chapters just to bring everything we said together. May the Lord bless you. Happy prayer and fasting. Never be led by what you crave. I can read many minds that say Sunday he will be saying it's over. I know the first restaurant I'm going, the first food I'm going to cook, I'm going to. I said, I said I will announce which date. Meditate upon the word now. Sunday I'll be announcing how we'll fast the next week. May the Lord bless you. <laughs> bless you. I love you guys. May the King of Glory bless you. All spiritual blessings upon you. I declare all spiritual blessings. I declare what God has planned through the crucifixion, through the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he has transferred all his blessings into us all, that we know what drives us, what moves us, taking us by the hand, dressing us and taking us to places we did not want to go. Jacob went to a place which he did not want to go. He went running away, but he was driven by the Lord, by the Spirit of the Lord, to fulfill God's will and to even meet the wife he has to marry. God loves you to fulfill God's will, to hold on the Lord and to come up not being a Jacob, but to become an Israelite, indeed a descendant of Abraham. Indeed, driven into fasting, driven into prayer, driven into being alone. In Jesus' name, amen. That's how many shall know. How do you know that you carry spiritual blessings. How do you know that you only carry gifts that are common? Casting out demons, healing the sick, prophesying, 
just speaking unknown tongues ordinarily so if you want to know that you're spirit it's through what you attract the apostle possess hours often driven he didn't take himself there he didn't cause these things to happen it was because of what he carried what was upon him chapter 12 saying a thorn is in my flesh and i like it when it starts says, because of this exceeding greatness that i see heaven open angels are sending because of the exceeding greatness that there was a thorn given into my flesh so there's a reason why the thorn is in my flesh so i acknowledge this it's because of this exceeding greatness for me to be humbled so this is with the purpose in order for me not to boast according to the world or according to the flesh in order for many not to form a high estimation of me i was brought low being a public spectacle causing people to see through you may the lord bless you and i thank you all meditate upon this god is with you we are going to minister right now he loves you He loves you so much. He loves you so much. Death, where's your sting? It means he has already accepted the kind of life that where's your sting? It means death has been coming to him, facing death daily, driven into such situation. So you are used to it where's your sting? Where's your sting? The Lord loves you. You are all blessed. Be driven. Be driven. All of you be driven. Every one of you be driven. Be driven without choice. The love of God that overshadows you. Be driven, be driven all of you. Be driven. Be driven. Have you ever trained people and you hear others saying, I only want what you have, but these persecutions, I don't want them. Be driven, be driven. Be driven. Once you accept me, be driven. Be driven even further. Unexpected situation in your life shall happen. Because wherever you enter, you come with some energy that is from above the firmament to change the atmosphere on earth. Be driven. Be driven with such It's all spiritual blessings coming upon you to attract all these making you strong strengthening your body for even in some scotch land he strengthens your frame your body he meets every need even in the wilderness in the desert your journey is your journey with the lord not with men the god of peace remains with you his faithfulness rests in you god is with you refer to the teaching even when i took prophecies even from within families children that are not loved like other children you can call the office they will give you that that's where you learn even further there those that are loved more than others where you see a blessing manifesting in a different way those who are loved more than others are suffering because the love was not of god suffering better than those worse than those who are hated you can call the office they will direct you and give you those services where well, doing it i was doing practically prophesying in church with families it happens within the family 
And you, who is not live like others, you shouldn't be troubled. You shouldn't be troubled. Don't even envy that kind of love to come to you because it's not godly love. Someone look at me funny. Can you imagine Jacob envying Esau? And I wish Isaac, my father, was love, loved me like Esau. I wish. No, it was not godly. Rebecca loved Jacob. That's the way God loved his purpose in that house, in that family. That's how God prepared it, made it to happen. It happened while the children were in her womb. So who sinned? Did Esau sin? It's God who said it was the womb. The child didn't know how to sin. You understand the purpose of God. You know this mystery. Can you imagine Jacob saying, no, I, I wish I was loved. You see, Jacob never even cried to Rebecca and said, hey, hey, they favor, you know, daddy favors, favors Esau. You look how he loves Esau, look how, you know, the, when the spiritual, you do, it's over. It's like you're in heaven where you forgot about earth. You see people crying for you. They say you're dead. Say, you don't understand why they're crying because where you are, it's victorious. It's a blessing. So you can call the office. They'll guide you on that. You'll watch it. I believe it's also on YouTube. You'll watch it practically to see what is happening. Those who fail to accept spiritual blessing and be driven, it's easy for them to be attacked. It's easy for them to be stressed. It's easy. The structure is not strengthened. They get sick. They get depressed. And if you can accept the will of God, let it be that way. Let it be that way. That's why I'm saying this one, it's a tough one to swallow. It's a tough bite to swallow. It's a tough bite to swallow to many. Welcome it. Understand why there's division. Understand why there's crack. It had to be that way. Can you welcome the situation? I know I'm speaking to many who are experiencing this. How will you make it among your relatives if you fail from within your own house? How will you make it out there if you fail within your relatives? How will you succeed? Understand when you carry spiritual blessings, you are on a journey now. You're not just on a journey, you were kicked out. You ran away. Can you imagine if Jacob was saying, no, 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 no. Hey, when you are the favorite of God. Ah, Jacob, Jacob will give you food. Will even feed you. Hey, hey, that's right. You'll despise your birthright because of Jacob. You'll find yourself making wrong decisions and some will turn a blind eye on the wrongs that you're doing. But the one who's like Jacob, you mustn't be depressed. Enjoy it. When Rebecca says, now go, you can go, it's trouble now. Just go with joy. You're going to meet many things on your journey. That will make you better. God loves you. We're going to minister now. God is with you. I believe you're blessed. Happy praying, fasting. God loves you. We're going to minister. Uh, those who need prayer, there are numbers appearing on your screen. Um, um, those who are on Zoom, you can just raise your hand for any prayer request. God is with you. He loves you. He loves you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Let's start with the Zoomers. Bless you. Bless you. I love you guys. Amen. Let's start with the Zoomers. Let's start with the Zoomers. Are we there, guys?
Amen. Papa. Okay, I need your mic. The first one. Let's speak. Yes, Papa. The first suma is Ken. Yeah, what's your name? What's your name? Penuel and Common, Papa. Penuel and Common. You are calling. You are zooming from. From Bromo Spread, Papa. Bromo Spread. Bless you, Penuel and Common. How many we have you, Penuel and Common? Oh, Amen, Papa. Uh, last year October we spoke, Papa. Ah. I remember Penuel. And then I was telling you concerning the appearance call again, and I wanted to let you know that the appearances and visions have been continuing as you declared, and they are being more now. Oh, they're being more now, eh? Yeah, okay. As long as drop you on the list, then I will still take it. They're still appearing, eh? Oh, amen. Amen, Papa. Yeah, God is faithful. We think God is faithful. And I believe in the teaching of today helps you as well, eh? Amen, Papa. They continue. It's part of spiritual blessings. You see, when they come mm -hmm. upon you, that's how God leads you. Amen, Bob. Yeah. Just drop your details and then we'll take it through. Thank you, Bob. Bless you. Amen. Next, Zuma. Next, Zuma. Amen, Papa. Our next Zuma is Tear 7. Tear Triple 7. Implement okay, he already unmuted. You, you guys are slow. Thank you. What's your name and what you're zooming from? My name is Tarek Eng. Thank you, Papa. And I'm zooming from Addis Ababa. From Addis Ababa. Bless you. you can you, can you repeat you. your name again? I shortened my name, otherwise it will be difficult to pronounce. It is Tarek Eng. I need your complete name. Tarek Eng. That's my first name. Tarek Tarek Eng, you see? Yes. It's not difficult. Yes. Tarek Eng. Thank uh -huh. you very much. And my father's name is Garoma. Tarek Eng Bar Garoma, the son of Garoma. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank Bless you, Tarek Eng. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah, from Addis Ababa. Yes. It's from Addis yes, Ababa. It's almost midnight here. And Amen. it is the first time that I have been fasting. 20, almost 30 hours. And this wow. is my first time. I joined you beginning January 25th. That's three days ago. Amen. We bless God. Okay. Beautiful. And how are you keeping since you, you started? Um, my friends recommended me. I am into Christ. And... Um, my friend has recommended that I tune into this uh, RTV and I found the ID from the screen and it's my third day when I logged into the Zoom broadcast now. Amen. And I enjoyed every moment. Thank you very much. Amen. We bless God. We thank God for blessing you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. I have some prayer requests, Papa. Mm -hmm. Um, a few months ago, I made some uh, fatal mistake and I saw being attacked in my dream. And since then, my prayer is not good and my dreams are, uh, I also forget my dreams and my spiritual life is completely messed up. So I want you to deliver me from this, Papa. Okay, God loves you. The word of the Lord has come another truth to set you free from every moment of disappointment. Thank you. All darkness, all evil departs. All evil departs. Amen. The word of the Lord penetrates right now. Amen. And I'm seeing you with new visions and dreams as righteousness comes in. All unrighteousness departs. Amen. The word of the Lord has overshadowed you to strengthen you, to restore you. You're now being restored to where you were as the Lord has planned. Amen. Life light shines on you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Forget about everything. God is with you. You're prospered in every way. And you'll send us your testimonies. God loves you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Papa. Bless you. Bless you. Thank, Thank you so much. Next, Zuma. Amen, Papa. Our next Zuma is Gabriela. 
Gabriela, may you please unmute your mic and let us know where you're zooming with us from. Gabriela? Good evening, Papa. How are you? Find yourself, Gabriela. I'm blessed, Papa. Where is uh, you Papa, from? I'm zooming from Katle Home. Okay, bless you. Yes, Papa. Uh, I need some guidance, Papa. It's concerning a dream that I had during the week. Uh, the dream, it concerns names, because like in a dream, I saw a birth certificate, like my birth certificate. So on the certificate, I saw like my name, I saw Hannah instead of Anna. So I need some guidance concerning that, because I was also planning to go to home affairs to change my names. Okay, drop your details, we'll take it through. And please be patient, guys, and everybody's on the list. Please, please, please be patient. I'm, I'm attending to all of you. I'm, I'm, I'll be attending to all of you because you're many. God loves you. Please drop your details and I'll attend to you next, Gabriela. Okay, Papa. Thank you, Papa. God loves you. Thank you, thank you. Next, Zuma. Amen, Papa. Our next Zuma is Puti. Puti, may you please unmute your mic and let us know where you're Zooming with us from. Thank you, Puti. Your mic is still muted, Puti. Still muted. Puti, still muted. Okay, we'll come back to you guys. It's still muted. Press Amen. unmute there. Amen, Papa. They seem to be struggling to unmute their mic. Okay, we'll come back to you guys. Next, Zuma. Thank you, Papa. Our next Zuma is Irene. Irene, may you please unmute your mic and let us know where you're Zooming with us from. Sis Irene. Greetings, Papa. Greetings, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, my father. How are you? Amen. Where are you Zooming from? I'm Zooming from Mayas Park, Papa. Okay, how can we help you tonight? Papa, I, um, I'm i requesting for, for, for guidance. I actually don't know what to do. Um, last year in May, the beginning of, I think, um, mid-April, May, I resigned from the leadership of the union. I think I spoke to Papa in, in, in July in that regard, but um, I did not um, like put everything um, that, that I need guidance. Because after I have resigned, the, 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 the head office or the regional office is supposed to um, come and do the, the 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 votes for the for my replacement, but they are not doing that up until now. And I spoke to one of the guys somewhere last year, and he said to me like um uh, like openly and honestly that he actually is not interested of doing making um or arranging for the meeting for the votes to replace me because he doesn't want me to go because he doesn't see anybody who can replace me there. But for me, Papa, I I I I want to I want to leave. But I resigned already. But they just need to come and do the replacement, the voting for okay. the replacement. We present this plan in the hands of the Lord. The light, the light of God shines on you. The way the Lord has gone ahead of you to speak on your behalf. And it is done. You've been blessed and made all in Jesus' name. Amen. God is with you, not you worry. God is with you. Okay, so I must just leave everything, just keep quiet. Leave everything just like that. We give it into the lands of the Lord. So if they still involve me in the activities of the union, I must just attend yeah. and participate, or I'm not sure what must I do. You, 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 you said you resigned. Yes, I did. Uh, um, I sent and them they still a, appoint a you. They, they, they did not do anything. They still um, involved me in all the activities of the leadership of the union. No, that's fine. Keep leave it that way. Okay, my father. Thank okay. you, Papa. Bless you. Thank you, my Bless you. Thank you. Amen. Love you, Papa. Love you too. Next, Zuma. Amen, Papa. Our next Zuma is Tapelo. Tapelo, may you please unmute your mic and let us know where you're zooming with us from. Tapelo. Hello, Papa. Hey, Tapelo. How are you, Tapelo? I'm fine, Papa. And you? Where are you now? I'm zooming from Orchards. Okay, how many you help with Tabelo? Uh, Papa, I had a, I'm, I'm experiencing a blockage in my nose. In my nose, which moves from the right nose to the left 
the the right the left side to the right side keeps moving okay you know the and, okay and what else and it's not the mucus or or it's not the mucus in the nose but it looks like uh it looks like it's like it, okay you're still in inside yes is it painful no it's not Okay, God loves you. God is with you, Netapelo. Some anointed people, Tapelo, they pray for themselves. So why don't you pray for yourself, Tapelo? Papa? Why don't you pray for yourself? Papa, we are taught not to pray for our own beneficiary, Papa. <laughs> you are reasoning a lot. <laughs> <laughs> So you need prayer. You just you need prayer, Tapelo. Bless you. Put your hand like this. Breath in and out. Breath in and out. Breath in and out. What's happening now? Check now. Yeah. What's happening now? Uh, right, the right part of the nose is too blocked. And the other side? It's open. It's open, yeah. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. And we command every virus in your body to die as you breathe in and out. Every virus dies. Every bacteria dies as you breathe in and out. What's happening now? How's the blockage now? It's still on the right side. Breathe in and out. What's happening now? It's opening a little bit in the right it's side. It's opening, eh? Yeah. Check the blockage. How's the blockage now? It's opening. How's the blockage again now? It's, it's still opening a little bit, Papa. Yeah. How's the blockage now? Opening. Still opening on the right side. How's the blockage again? Um. I feel I can breathe a little bit. You can breathe now. The, I can breathe a little bit in the right side, but there's still something. Yeah, wait. Spiritual operation is taking place. Breathe in and out. Check out the blockage now. There's still something. Check the breathing now, what's happening? I can breathe a little bit. You can breathe a little bit, no? It's getting much better, no? Yes, Papa. Check the breathing now. How's the blockage now? But it's still the same. How's the breathing now? It's opening. Pardon? It's opening. It's opening, no? Yes, Papa. How's the breathing now? It's opening. Remove the hand, breathe. How do you breathe now? I can I can breathe nicely the side more. Here I have Tazuki how has strong or puts an okay. Yeah, put your hand again. That other one is open completely.
How's the breathing now? Nose is opening. How's the breathing again? Opening. It's opening a little bit up. Oh, it's, it keeps on opening. Yes. How's the breathing now? I can, I can, I can inhale and yeah. You can inhale now? I can inhale a little uh, gum on the right hand, uh, on the right side. You can inhale? Yes, Papa. Oh, you could inhale with it? Papa? You couldn't inhale? I couldn't inhale uh, a little, a little air. It was totally blocked. Now I can, now I can in, inhale somewhere. Amen, amen. Amen. It is done. You still bring your testimony. God is with you, no? Thank you, Papa. You can inhale now. Yes, Papa. Bless you. Bless you, Tapelo. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you so much. You pray for us, ne? Thank you, Papa. Yes, Papa. Bless you, Tabelo. Amen. Next Zuma. Amen, Papa. Our next Zuma is Puti. Puti, may you please unmute your mic and let us know where you're Zooming with us from? Puti. Puti. Uh, How are you, Puti? Rowana, where are you Zooming from, Puti? From Harangua. Yes, I'm going to help you. It's load shedding. They will can't see you well. Yes, yeah, load shedding. I can see it's load shedding. Load shedding has interfered with electricity. <laughs> oh, it's electricity which interfered with load shedding. How many help you put in? Rebecca, I'm with Putty here. Okay. I've got a little bit of a problem. Generally, a son who was admitted to Josh Mokari, uh, he had a, a problem with appendix here high. So he was operated on Sunday. And then what surprised me on Tuesday when I went to visit him, he said to me, look at the wall. It was as if uh, the way I looked at him, it was as if he was a bit confused because of the medication or that he received from the hospital. And then he said to me, Look at the wall. Can you see this man? And I said, Which man? He said, The man is wearing a suit and it's Papa the Duke. And then this is what he said to me. He said, I must tell him not to fear anything. I'm going to be fine. Don't worry about my operation. And then he said something like, You received. An order of Melchizedek from you. And then you said to me, uh, tomorrow morning, you and me are going down to confuse the enemy. Everything that went wrong with you, you will never see it again. So, as a mother, I could see that you were, you were a bit, uh, I think, was a little bit in the, in the spirit. Then I said, okay, I need to phone Papa just to confirm and uh, uh, get some guidance from you of what, must, what should I do? Is this from God or was it made because of the confusion that? He Head just after the operation. At the moment, I'm not really he's still sleeping. He's on medication, but he's charged on Wednesday. But uh, it's yeah, SVP forget some other thing. So, what I did, uh, I've been uh, given two days leave from work, whereby I'm offending him. So, I'm trying to check with him whether he still remembers where I will ask him about uh, the teachers from school, who are the teachers. And then and ask as well in the house. But he did, did manage to answer me. But then what surprised me, I gave him an apple today in the afternoon. And then he ate it, but then he asked me what is this? And I realized that no, he's still a little bit confused. So my guidance that I, the guidance that I would need from you is that issue where he said you received an order of the from you. And then you said to him, I will teach you more about this uh, order of Melchizedek. So he wanted to come and do with me, but uh, it's a bit confused. I don't think somewhere you'll be able to hear what you're saying. So okay. I, 
let's do this. Say we're going to pray for him. We'll pray for him. You'll drop your details. And then the moment I have to speak to him, I'll speak to him. Don't worry. You'll be with him when I speak to him. Thank you so much. The word of the Lord locates your son to set him free. The presence of the Lord is upon him. Light shines on him from on top of his head to so sweet. His body has prospered. His soul has prospered. Spiritual operation has happened upon him right now. And it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. Send a testimony. And then this is the time we can drop your details. I'll speak to you. Bless you. Bye. Amen. Next, Zuma. Amen, Papa. We have callers on the line. Thank you. Callers on the line. Amen, Papa. Uh, we have Brother Given um, from Soshanguva with a prayer request. Hello, Given. Given. Hello. Yes, Given. How are you? I'm good, baby. Wonderful. How many we have to given? Um, at, at concerning my, my sister, uh, Paul, um, she thinks she's suffering uh, from the things that the way she, she wanted uh, but in her situation. Can you try and speak, Lara? I don't know if it's me. I'm struggling to hear. Okay, I'm saying it concerning my sister, Paul. She's having pains where she had a C-section. Uh, oh, she's got pains? Yes. Are you with her now? Yeah, she was sleeping, so just lying here. I am with her now. Though. Yeah, I can give her the phone if she's awake. Yes, okay. How are you, Paul? I'm good, thank you, baby. Bless you. God is with you. Spiritual operation is happening upon you. Check the pain now. How's the pain? How's the operation pain? Check. How's the operation? I'm still feeling pain, but it's still on my left. Yeah. It's the word of the Lord that has penetrated you. Spiritual operation is happening right now to set you free. How's the pain now? Pardon? I can hear. The pain is gone. Thank you. Baby. The pain is gone. Amen. We bless God. Bless you. God is with you. You'll send us a testimony. Bless you, Paul. Thank you, baby. Amen. Thank you. Baby. Love you. Next caller. Thank you, Papa. Our next caller is Olani Kim, uh, Timothy from Nelspreet with a prayer request. Timothy. Greetings, my father. How are you? On yourself. I'm pleased, my father. I'm pleased. Wonderful. How may I help you? I have a few prayer requests. Um, the first prayer request is regarding my mother. So she has been having some conflict at her workplace where she's renting. So there's someone who has been trying to occupy her space, um, going to the owner saying to pay rent more than the one that my mother pays. So she she is against my mother's business in using motives and all that. So that's the first prayer request. And secondly, my father, um, today I, I dreamt my younger brother uh, stabbing my mother with a knife, you know, and it was terrible. Now my mother was bleeding and her back, you know, um, and my brother didn't care. And another thing, um, uh, my mother will dream that people, she doesn't understand why. And my father, um, another thing, um, I'm, I'm facing headaches, you know, uh, severe headaches on my forehead. And uh, the doctors are saying uh, I need to see an optometrist. My eyes burn out has problems and all that. So it is pray for me also regarding that and also for my dreams. The word of the Lord locates your mother and go ahead of your mother to speak on her on behalf. Life light shines on your mother. We command all evil or darkness to depart. We intervene in the dream to cancel every evil, to cancel every evil plan. We declare the plans of God not to harm but to prosper. The life of the light of God has come upon your family. The life of the light of God is shining upon your brother. The life of the light of God shines on all of you, repelling every darkness. You've been blessed and made whole. And it is done. The Lord has penetrated you to begin life. 
How's the headache now? How's your headache? No, it is not here, Papa. Amen. You're blessed. God is with you. Send us a testimony. Bless you. My father, uh, I can you ask you something, Papa. <laughs> I can hear you. May I can you ask you something, my father? Oh, you're going to ask me, ask me something, my brother. Oh, thank you. Please ask you something, my father. Okay, no problem. <laughs> oh, Papa, I, I always have dreams of Prophet Lerato constantly. So, so um, um, I would like to humbly ask maybe if Papa can give me just one opportunity of speaking to him. No problem. Drop your details and I'll speak to you first just to check the dreams and then I'll refer to you to here after we check that. Ne? Amen. David, thank you so much. My father, I'm humbled. I love you so much. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Next, next caller. Amen, Papa. We're still screening other calls. Amen. Let's go to the Zoomers. Amen, Papa. Our next Zoomer is Catherine. Catherine, may you please unmute your mic and let us know where you're Zooming with us from. Catherine. Greetings, Papa. Greetings, Catherine. How are you? I'm um, good. How are you, Papa? Amen. How may I help you, Catherine? Uh, Papa, I had a challenge today. I don't know what was happening. Ever, ever since from morning when I was still listening to the, the, to the sermons, like, it's what I give a go move deep, 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 deep to such extent. I get give it papama, like I'm on the screen. So it's embarrassing, Papa. And also, uh, if you feel like I can get that some call, but I would sit on my nose and it's a male the headache from this side. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, the word of the Lord has come to the truth. You who steals the word from here, you depart. You who steals the weight, you who interferes with the meditations, you who interferes with the weight intake, you depart. We pull you out now. You who interferes with the purpose, you depart. <coughs> we come out by the roots. By the roots, you depart. By the roots, you depart. <laughs> but the roots come out, the sword of the spirit has entered that body. You who causes it to sleep and steal the word, you who causes it to sleep, you depart. Strength comes upon a body. Endurance comes upon a body. As endurance comes in, you will depart. <laughs> Quickly, you come out. Quickly, come out. Quickly, come out. Quickly. Quickly, you come out. Now, you pull it out by the roots. Out of the system, out of the body, out of the stomach, out of the soul. Out quickly, the time is up. You no longer have time in the body, you depart quickly now. You no longer have time in that body. You no longer have time. No time anymore. There's no time anymore. There's no time anymore. No. There's no time anymore. There's no time anymore. It's over. It's over. There's no time anymore. There's no time anymore, it's finished. Uh, 
<coughs> There's no time anymore. <coughs> You're finished. The time is up. No time anymore in that body, it's over. How do you feel now, Catherine? Maria, like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. And now? That's my hand. Yeah. And now? No, that's my hand. It's over, God loves you. It's that pain, yeah, I'm moving you. Okay, wait. What's the pain doing now? Yeah. What's the pain doing again? It's a little bit. What's the pain doing again now? You can't have a good idea. What's the pain doing now? Last, 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 What's the pain you again now? What's the pain doing now? Now you have to What's the pain doing again? Yeah, now it's a meal, Papa. Amen. God loves you. God is with you. Send us a testimony. Bless you. And Papa, another thing, I have a testimony concerning. Uh, fasting, uh, Baba. Uh, during other years, I couldn't fast because of ulcers, but this year I I managed to fast from the beginning. I even started before Papa. You mentioned about when to start for fasting, and Amen. you prayed for me for the for the cramps. Right now, I'm no longer uh, experiencing those pains. Um, Amen. I'm what is with you? Me. Amen. Yes. It's calls it calls for development as well. God loves you. God is with you. Thank you, Papa. And another thing, Papa, please pray for this water. I declare that holy water. This is anointed water from above. This is anointing that breaks every yoke and gives life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Bless you. Love you, Teddy. Love you too. Bless you. Amen. Amen. Next Zuma. Amen, Papa. Our next Zuma is Pastor Bloss. Pastor Bloss, may you please unmute your mic and let us know where you're zooming with us from. Pastor Bloss? How are you, Teddy? Find yourself, Pastor Bloss. I shall miss you so much, Papa. I sure. Miss it, you. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, it's like, yes. <laughs> yo. God is with uh, you. Yes, 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 Teddy. I, I was, uh, I had a heart problem, but there was a, there's, there was a pain in my heart. But immediately I zoomed and I saw you. I don't feel it anymore. I, no, don't I, miss me anymore. Don't miss me. Don't miss me anymore. <laughs> issues, <laughs> issues of love, hearts, and <laughs> <laughs> you see issues of love, you know, hearts. And it... Now, just after seeing me, wow, beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. <laughs> <laughs> Just when I saw you, and it's the hard thing is gone. It's like Amen. I needed to see you. That's all. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Issues of love. 
Yo, Teddy, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. <laughs> no problem wow. with you. I think all other matters are finished. It's over. You just send your testimonies. Amen, Teddy. Because I, I wanted Amen. to I wanted to ask you to pray for me because I had a prayer. I mean, I had a dream where there were many flies, like somebody mm -hmm. was like, you know, releasing them in their numbers against me, towards me. So I don't know, I don't know what was that. But I believe that as I see my spiritual father, everything is okay. All is well. God is with you. Thank you, my father. All is well. God is with you. You are covered. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow I'm taking some of the believers to, to baptize them. Can I get my father's blessings? You're baptizing. Uh, I must baptize them. <laughs> they, they just got saved. So, That's it. Yes. The word of the Lord is upon you. Light shines Thank on you. you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen, Teddy. I love you so much, Teddy. You're the best. Love you too. Thank you, Teddy. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Next, Zuma. Amen, Papa. We have callers on the line. Callers on the line. Thank you. Amen, Papa. We have Mama Dora from Rustenburg with a prayer request. Mama Dora. Hello, Didi. Hello, hello. How are you, Mama? I'm fine, Didi. Bless you. How may I help you, Mama? Didi, I'm going to pray a request for me. Yeah. Oh, me kina le yanga brava o no mo ngo e se ji. Pardon? Kina la ga kina le yanga brava o na ko ngo e se ji. Eh. O jike de di bana le di a take to kisa di tlhalogang. Last year I think maybe December. Bana ba bona ke ntse ba kwala di exam le ba admiti be ka buthu ba bona. Until e be ke fona e le re ba admiti wa ba di stage wa ba admiti wa ba di stage wa e be ke fona. So I take it parents because younger brother Galena Manta Lucas So twenty seventeen, Saladas So this week, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, really call a Victoria, Victor and Victoria. Pardon? Mina Abonati, Victor and Victoria. The word of the Lord, like is Victor, the word the Lord, like is Victor and Victoria. To do the work from above, we command cancer to depart. Every cancer cell to rise now. The word of the Lord has located them. The the Lord has come upon your petition right now to set everybody free and bring order. Order has come and light shines on them and it's done to prosper in every way in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. God is with you. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my Amen. father. Amen. And then the is something six of Shalo Hanini. It's a good miracle. Every time Shabbat gets something says you're wrong. Chantiki credit scripture. Because last week we feel the Ecclesiastes in verse 11, in Bianca crying. Isaiah 11, verse 3, are just by appearance, not by his sin. Isaiah 11, verse 8. Yahuri, Bana, they were playing next to the host of the cobras. Job 33, from verse 13 to 16. Yahuri, we do not have five visions, we do not have three visions or dreams. Matthew 10, verse 20, Yahore, um, it is no longer me who is taking, but it's Christ who's taking through you. So every time I have something, the verse is in a diatakel again and again. And yeah, get into prayer, pray for the whole situation, get into prayer, know that God has placed it there for a reason. Get into prayer, pray for them. Okay, did. Okay, did. 
Tell them, guide them, <laughs> tell them the truth to sanctify them. Okay, Didi. Okay. Thank what you, my it? father. Thank you, Didi. Amen. Love you. Love you, too. Next caller. Amen, Papa. Our next caller is Daniel from Mabopani with a prayer request as well as a prophecy confirmation. Daniel. Hello, my father. How are you, Daniel? I'm very good, Papa. How Bless are you, you, Papa? Wonderfully blessed God. Papa, thank you, my father. I have a few prayer requests. Uh, my first one, uh, my aunt. Only the sign starts to go on her left hand side. But when the arrow has been lifted, you look at the hello. So I have to put the leg and bar mirror X-ray. But I've been anything. Then my motor ban has not been old age. But the heart of my I keep on like no one limpa. But the the leg is painful, and then the like woman is on the side. Keep on like the whole high heart of my limpa like one side. It is more towards the leg is strong. So the whole side is like it's affected. But yeah, now we see at a village case, so I'm asking for prayer for her. What's her name? It's your aunt. Yes, the other high key with me. The word of the Lord locates your aunt with me right now to set her free. Spiritual operation is now happening. Though the Lord has penetrated to her right now to give her life. And it is done. She's been blessed and made whole. In Jesus' name. Amen. God is with you. Send us the testimonies. Bless you. Thank you, my father. Another prayer request uh, is for my brother. Number twenty to come, Meruko. Leave it to the high key voice. Lay my grandmother. Maltohai apira aruhi. Like she's on medication, so I I don't know if she medication or the mar maltohai apila alam amala maki. The word of the Lord located your brother Busi to give him life to become his advocate to speak on his behalf on his behalf when it is done. In Jesus' mighty name, the grandmother's life has been overshadowed by the power of God, by the word of the Lord right now, restoring her. Spiritual operation is happening upon her legs to restore her, her body and every organ of her body. She's been blessed and made whole. Her body is prospered, her soul is prospered, she has prospered in her voice in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. God loves you. And thank you, Papa. I also have a prophecy confirmation, my Papa. Uh, miracle, like the same strange and unexpected situation so no, that they are happening. Uh, I see the hand of God in everything. They've been had feelings throughout, but I'm asking for wisdom for my boss because of oh, a lot. It's very like he's favoring me. Whereas Lena, how did I? How did it happen? Like nobody knows. So how did I move from one place to another? Uh, so like it's like uh, there was a there's a situation now where but uh, terminate my post. Like they did that for her office, so he doesn't know how it happened, but now it's like they want to blame him or he removed somebody else and placed me there where the post community. So it's a lot of situations like that whereby uh, everybody has the opinion about that strange situations, but I it, it always appears like somebody's favoring me, whereas even them, they don't know what's happening. Um, now, well, I face a lot of jealousy and stuff, but uh, I'm, I, I'm, I, I, I don't take it too hard. I, I know how to deal with it. I'm asking for wisdom for my boss. The Lord of the Lord is appreciated your boss. As favor comes upon you, you are favored, and he will be favored. All is well. All is done. The owner of the institution is the one from above. Every institution belongs to the old Lord and is there to advocate. It is done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Bless you. God loves you. Thank you, my father. The last one, Papa, please. I'm asking for uh, grace to buy a car, my father, this, this, uh, this year. You have the grace, which is the fullness from above, to guide you, and it is done. You've been blessed in all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Papa. God loves you. God is with you. Don't worry. Amen, Papa. I receive. Thank you. Amen. 
Next caller. Amen, Papa. The next caller is Mama Leti from Harangua with a prayer request. Mama Leti. Hello, Papa. Thank you, Mama Leti. Thank you, Papa. Papa, a prayer request. Yes. Hey, Papa, get a personal or more private party. And the one and the rat who grilling on a cooperation, grilling on a cooperation, and operation a able to go on the common cocoa drum who soak. And then I lay check up on Gamanta, but it is a test him over if you only a fixing of lies. But I got a more man had to go there. The the word of the Lord locates the right right now to set a free spiritual operation is happening upon it. Life light shines upon it. The root cause of this departs, the source of this departs. She's been blessed and made whole. The word of the Lord has come upon you to set you free. All evil of darkness departs. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, the root cause of this is, is, is being dealt with. We uproot this darkness. We uproot the cause of this. And it is done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. How's the itchiness now? How's the issue? Right, 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 Oh, Apostle Fus, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you, Apostle. Fusi, Fusi. Thank you with your silence. Thank you. Emmanuel, my son. Amen. <laughs> Emmanuel. God is with us. Thank you so much, Papa. Amen. You can my go father, on. Thank you. Before I go on, my father, may I give a testimony? <laughs> Amen. I'm sorry about that, my father. Mm. Thank you so much for, for your prayer, my father. Thank mm. you so much. You prayed for me on, on Sunday, me and my sister. Mm. I was supposed to go for interview. Mm. So my father, thank you so much. Uh, I'm starting on the 1st of, of, uh, of, of February. Wow, just bound to be that way. God is with you. We bless God. Thank you so much. So you're so moving much. from there, you're going there. Yes, my father. And uh, they also signed the session session form. They were supposed to mm. sign the form for to transfer me there. So now I've already even started uh, taking the, the files and the job for that side, the new side. So on the new side, I'm starting on the Feb. I'm starting now. This weekend, working on their files. Uh, so, on Monday, it will be my last day mm. uh, working for, for this side, uh, appearing for them. It will be my last day. Thank you so much, my father. So, immediately when you do it first thing, please take, take your sister. There's this nice restaurant in Mshanga Sense, you know? <laughs> take her there to Mshanga, where there's that kind of a breeze from the sea, you know? Amen, amen. <laughs> Please take it there and, and please, you must report and tell her, please, I spoke on her behalf. She, 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 she's anxious to be there now. <laughs> ah, my father, you are, she's saying she's listening to you. Got <laughs> it? She's saying she's listening to you right now. There's no need for, for me to tell her she, she, she's, she's listening to you. You are in trouble. <laughs> she's going to remind you now. <laughs> and another one, my father. You remember the guy that was uh, giving us problem about um, to fix what you already paid for. Oh. So my father, God has done it. As you said, I mustn't worry about it. God has done it. My father, uh, the house, the eight bedroom house, my father is no longer there. The municipality just came and uh, demolished uh, his house. <laughs> <laughs> you said I must. Some of the things we don't have to love, but you know, 
we understand that there's a sense of humor from God, but ish. And my father, you said I mustn't even be involved when it comes to, to litigation of the neighbor while they were inquiring my father. So I mm. wasn't involved. I just made a, a letter uh, because they asked me. I just left there on the, the letter requesting the municipal to, to be involved. So the municipality mm. was involved, and then my father, ish, ish. it wasn't good. Ish. <laughs> ish. Some they of the testimonies, you know, they, they are testimonies because they are bound to be testimonies. <laughs> That's why sometimes you don't have to. You don't have to go after those who come after you. You leave it in the hands of God. And just, I mean, Psalm 91, it's in place. We cannot run away. We are laughing now. It's, it, it says you will observe. It didn't say you will fight them. You are just resting the secret place of the Most High. And it says you will observe and just see the punishment of the wind. So there's that moment of just observing and just looking at, you're an audience looking at the punishment of the wicked. And it was That's so why I said, ah, just relax. Just relax, and God is with you. We were the audience there, my father. We were, mm -hmm. remember it's just a neighbor. We were the audience and it was mm -hmm. so painful. It was it's not so painful. nice. But now when the Lord answers, what can we do? Yeah. When the Lord answers, what can you do? And and yesterday, my father was so asked to continue working for them, those other firm. They mm. were asking me yesterday, pleading that I must continue with them. The you know, hey, but my father, it was a decision as as already my father is already through prayer. So we follow the will of God. Amen. 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 We follow the will of God. Let's let's flow with the will of God. Bless you, my Christ. Bless you, my divine. Thank you, you, so you, you, please go to Sanga Sands and take your word there. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Emmanuel, my father, thank you. Bless you. Amen. Creating the studio. Amen. Amen, Papa. Can you continue? Can you continue, my father? Amen, Papa. Our next Zuma is Rosemary. Rosemary, may you please unmute your mic and let us know where you're zooming with us from. Greetings, Rosemary. Greetings, my father. How are you, General? I'm blessed to you, my father. Um, no, we thank God. We're full of life. Amen. I uh, uh, just wanted to say thank you for the word. Um, days, back, uh, days back, I was waking on what you were teaching today, and I thought maybe something was wrong with me. Uh, concerning um, Rebecca's dream, mm -hmm. I went deep. I went deep with it until, like, I was deep into two religions, something like that. It. I thought I was crazy. I was even thinking of removing some of the pages, but I thank God with the teaching today. I thank you so much. No, we thank God. Uh, if, if I say, Rosemary, we, we all, we all so blessed by, by our Father because the revelation that he, he gave today, it's, uh, it's so divine. Yes, my Father. And, and it gave us courage. Mm. It gave us courage that uh, when we look at other people being favored, it might not be the plan of God, even their blessings. Amen. When it comes to love, it might not be the love that comes from the plan of God. So, yes. Uh, yes, we thank God. We thank God. Yes, I also wanted to thank God because um, of the practical part of the teaching that you taught today, it happened Amen. to me like last week. Like I was in a certain place and Things were just happening. I I I I started this fasting in early December. I didn't know what was happening to me. I would go and vomit. I would eat <laughs> and I would go and vomit. So I thought maybe I don't know. And people got offended where I was. So 
I, I was the first the <laughs> teaching that the prophecy uh, daddy gave me in 2018, where he said, mm-hmm. you saw your neighbor doing stuff to you. So I didn't understand what was happening that time. I didn't know that it was now the fixed date of what he spoke in 2018. It's happening now, like four years after. So it was chaos and the teaching today is just so amazing. It was so comforting. It was so uplifting and causing me to carry on with what I'm doing. Never (laughs) doubt anything. It has taken everything. I, I, I just found myself, when others started fasting, I found myself wanting to come out of fasting. But then immediately <clears throat> when I eat, my body, you know, become <laughs> like I had to be taught that I have to understand that I'm no longer there. The revelation of a new creature and stuff like that. So this teaching of Rebecca and her twins took me deep. It went deeper to the level where it was like Christ and Antichrist. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. (laughs) Thank you so much. Thank you. We thank God. We thank God, Rosemary. We thank God. Uh, May God continue. Amen. May God continue to lift you up uh, in his realm. And we thank God for, for your obedience. Amen. Because that means you carried us. You <laughs> carried us. We can't. We can't be offended. We can never. Say, we can never be offended. Let me know. You listen to God. You are the disciple from above. You are not the disciple from the flesh. But you are the disciple from above. You carry us all. <laughs> you, you started first. The redemption of your body was what God was saying. You are preparing us on this fast. So let you continue. We thank God. I can. I, I can't. I can't. My father, can you please uh, uh, just move the clearance of this, please, my father? Pardon? Pardon? Can you please give uh, the sanity on this one? How? How? General was so obedient. Well, I, I couldn't hear her. What was she, what she was saying? I couldn't hear it clearly. She started fasting early December. The body didn't consume any food. There was a redemption of the body. She didn't understand what was going on until today. She's saying she's she's saying she's so blessed about uh, the today's fast, uh, teaching, my father. Then she mm-hmm. understood very well about the teaching, the Rebecca and, and the sons, and how it was so important for her to fast. Okay. Remember when I, I spoke about being driven to fasting, it's the same redemption of the body. Amen. It's the same redemption. Redemption of the body. That's where God drives you. You find yourself not being able to. Uh, you do want to, you do want to um, control yourself, but you find yourself not being able to. Amen. You find yourself not being able to. It's a blessing still, because you're doing it for others. You pray for others, and that's why some of the people who are driven. That's why I gave an example, and that's what is happening with the. Sometimes you dream dreams from above. Sometimes it's dreams that attacks. It's that thing of spiritual blessing. Yes, you dream yes. that I take you. <laughs> Most of the people with spiritual blessings, ne? Yes, some of the dreams need deliverance. Some of the dreams don't need deliverance because it's the other side wanting to interfere with what God has overshadowed you with. Yes, when you fast more, they will try to come and interfere and they would want to make you feel condemned. Is that um, even like when I eat, I would eat and I would eat and my body would be full. And when I'm working on my purpose, I would go and vomit everything. Yes, go for it. It takes oh, obedience. 
Go for it. Just go on. That's why I'm saying, that's why I said even about, some will start before the date that I said will start. And even the date when you are going to finish, some are not going to finish. They're going to go on. Because the Lord, I believe the message today will help many people. You'll be driven into it. As it's been said, when you fast, don't show. A lot of people will be driven. Don't show. Thank you so much, Papa. God is with you. Thank you, Dad. Okay, no, I wanted to ask something. Um, mm. When I'm with people, um, like where I am right now, if a person sits next to me, they feel very hot and they sweat a lot. But myself, I'm not feeling that heat. I'll be cold. <clears throat> redemption, redemption of the body comes in many ways. <laughs> And when, when he strengthens your structure, when he strengthens your body, your body doesn't function like an ordinary body. You understand? Your body doesn't function. You'll understand God's language from your body. You understand? Eh? Your body will not be like, it, it, it becomes supernatural. That's how I can put it. You understand? Eh? Yes, sorry. Yes. Your yes. body won't function like any other body. Yes. Uh, thank you, my father. Um, I also received something like I was being taught about my family, why I was taken away from them at a younger age to where I am right now. And God is teaching me deeper things concerning them, how they are not part of me. And the following day, I received a message concerning them. Somehow I wanted to uh, panic, but immediately I had to, uh, there was comfort that came, so I forgot about them. So you understand yeah. the teaching today, ne? Yes. <laughs> it does happen, it does happen. Many, you're not the only one with this teaching, it's many. It's many who went through this. Um, spiritual life, has to be accepted because it's from God. It's not from men. Mm. Everyone is designed um, according to God's own purpose. <clears throat> when the will of God happens, we just have to accept. Amen. And thank you, my father. I would parabolically say that I didn't know that uh, the word can 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 have a heart that <laughs> God is with you. Thank you, my father. I'm so yeah, honored. Thank you. I love it. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you so much. I love it. I love, it so much. I love it. I don't sleep. I like it. Amen. Go I for it. Sleep. Thank you. Amen. Amen. But people's bodies will change. Some people's, you know, sleep will be taken away. It's not like they spend sleepless night. Your sleep just gets taken away. And people, some people don't sleep the whole night. The next day they are fresh. The yeah. night comes, sleep is gone. They are fresh. Your sleep being taken away. We experience such, that's what I'm saying, it happens. We just need to descend because we have been blessed with spiritual blessings. As we descend, we know that, ah, I'm not sleeping. You look for deliverance unnecessarily so. And yet, if we claimed that the Lord is with us, Every moment is the moment of the Lord. I experience many things that I'm talking about. Your sleep be taken away. You can't sleep. The next day you are fresh like everybody. The night comes until you learn and accept. Oh, it's taken away from me. This is what I must do. Stand in the gap for others. You pray for others. You go on for others. You get deep into it. Don't be selfish when that moment comes. Never even touch your issues. Go for others. And all these things taken together shall be given unto you. God loves you all. Bless you. Amen, Amen. My Thank you so much, Papa. Thank you so much. Amen. Can we can we continue? Uh, General Rosemary, God bless you. We thank you so much. May God increase your divinity and may you increase in being obedient in the spirit. And may you also humble yourself as God gave you the power to lead, 
may you continue to be humble and be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the studio, can you continue? Thank you, my father. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <clears throat> Next Zoom. Amen. Hello, my father. Ah, <laughs> how are you? How are you? How are you, General? How are you, my spirit? Oh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Uh, above all, thank you so much, my father. And uh, I can never, I can, I can never try it, but uh, Apostle Chris can do it better, <laughs> can do it better. I, I, I hope you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my God, you're the same. When, when, he, when, when he greets you, he can do it better. He can, the last time I was, I was so enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> like normally, uh, I feel the same way. Like even you when you greet me, it's the same thing. I feel Emmanuel, the same my way. father. Emmanuel, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, if I may speak like you right now, that is why I'm saying Apostle Chris can speak like you exactly. <laughs> when I remember when he was doing it, I was so happy. <laughs> how are you, my? How are you, my spirit? Uh, what what can do? I'm doing well, spirit of my father, by the Lord's grace. Uh, I just have a little of preoccupation, Spirit of my Father. Uh, like um, today, uh, like uh, I was uh, dozing off just a bit and everything. Then I saw uh, the Father coming. I was uh, kind of uh, way alone, uh, back alone in the field somewhere there. So the Father was coming. He wrote like uh, a, a co coordinates of uh, location of Google Map. When he wrote the coordinates, like uh, I could remember the first letter, uh, first number, 11 and everything. So uh, when he gave it to me, that paper, I'm like, I'm asking, I'm trying to ask the question uh, on what I should do and everything. He said, uh, wait, uh, uh, I will tell you what to do and everything. Then he, he was going, it was like he was rushing and everything. Then when I woke up, I had all the numbers in the head, but... I forgot, like, uh, I'm like, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> no, we didn't go, we didn't go Yeah. Amen. Um, Amen. I really want, <clears throat> if I can remember the whole numbers and everything. So I was also asking, like, for direction, like, maybe uh, the interpretation of it. And also the other one, also my father, it was around five in the morning. That one, I was not even dressing off or anything. I was like trying to hide uh, the t-shirt that I'm gonna wear at school and everything. Suddenly, I don't know, I don't know if it was what. It's kind of directly uh, in the dream, but you, I'm standing up like this. Directly, I saw I was praying, but I found myself in one of the bedroom or uh, downstairs of the guys. So now the in in there is like they are pulling me out of the bedroom is like a nightmare, and then we, I'm 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 not even sleeping. It's like it's happening in reality like this, and then it's kind of a nightmare. And then when I came out of it, I'm scared. Like it's kind of a nightmare and everything. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my spirit. I believe. Yeah. Um. I believe they are noting it uh, at the studio. Mm -hmm. And then, because this is a trance from above. Mm -hmm. As always, you are experiencing what, what you live in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you, you live in, in transaction. So mm -hmm. God is giving you more of it, but Papa will explain it. Mm -hmm. Because as I, I, I said, I believe they are noting it and they will put you on on the list where Papa will, will, will explain it very well. Amen. But what I may say is that God is with you and is continuing to develop you. Amen. And I believe that is more that God is giving you, Emmanuel. 
So let, let us pray just to give thanks to the Father. Amen. Amen. Just to give thanks to the Father for the divine character that is in you. Amen, my Father. Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you all praise. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father, that you continue to reflect in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That this is your Son. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you that you dwell in him. We thank you, Father, that he is your kingdom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we give you all praise, Spirit of God. Continue to reflect, continue to give more glory of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let him shine. Let him shine upon his peers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you. Let you continue to give him more of wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let him continue, Father, to solve what can't be solved in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for the calculation that you give to him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that the mysteries that are being solved, we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we give you all praise. We thank you, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen, my Father. Uh, the last one, my Father, is about uh, like something that I even convey myself about it and everything. Uh, but uh, I stopped and everything. So it's a bit. Uh, uh, it was a bit something that I was asking myself about it. I saw there was uh, this green worm, green worm, and then it was on my bed, and I asked myself, how did it get onto my bed and everything? So I was looking into it and everything and meditating. I told myself that uh, I, that I should eat it and everything. But then the other thing that came in my mind is I was like, kind of maybe is that thing of uh, whereby uh, the uh, whereby the devil came in the desert and wanted to tempt uh, Jesus with uh, the stone and the bread and everything. Then I was trying a bit to figure out and everything. After a moment, I just put it in a, a tissue and close it and put it somewhere outside and everything. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm, I'm like, do you know that condemnation every time? Like maybe a uh, discrimination. <laughs> like this, that thing, I don't understand. This, that thing. Because sometimes uh, it's it's a bit, the, the most struggle part is when that, is that or uh, I don't know? Uh, is fluctuation or what? So, like that scary part and everything. And I want to lie. Yeah. Don't co don't forget, my father. Yeah. It's okay. Our father just spoke, and then he he was addressing issues like this. Yes. You remember, just Papa. Now, he told he re he reminded us that Romans eight is saying we mustn't. We, there is no condemnation. Amen, my Father. Amen. There is no Amen. condemnation. Just give thanks to the Father. Amen, my Father. There is no condemnation. Never condemn yourself. Amen, my Father. Just give Amen. praise that Father. I thank you. Amen. Amen. Your even that mind that came to you that you're supposed to do what you, you didn't do, but never condemn yourself. Amen, my Father. Amen. Amen. And it, Amen. Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your mind. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that this is your son. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that he put you first. Father, we thank you that there is no condemnation in those who are in Christ. We give you all praise, Spirit of God. We thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let him continue to flow in your spiritual realm. Let him continue to flow in your divinity. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let Christ in him continue, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, to reflect and to be the light in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the mind never take control, the spiritual realm. Let the mind never take control in the divine nature of God. Father, we give you all praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Spirit of God. Amen. Amen, my Father. Uh, the, I, I, uh, I, I remember when you were praying for me, I remember for testimony, I was having a pain, uh, I don't know if it's us or what, <coughs> it was uh, this side and everything, it was so painful before we start the service and everything, it was still painful, 
But uh, the moment we were manifesting, when Papa was making declaration and everything, after that, I couldn't feel that pain anymore. So <laughs> amen, amen. You know, we thank God. We thank God. There's no need even for prayer. The word yeah. of God thunders, thunders yeah. every cell of your body. The word amen, of God is above, is above every soul. So we give you, we give God the praise because amen. the spirit with the spirit of the Father. Amen, my just father. came together and you are here. Thank you so much. Amen, my father. Thank you to you so much, my father. And thank you to all the disciples and the crew. Thank you so much. Mm. And the we, love you. we love you. We love you more. We love you thank more. Our spirit. You. God you bless too. you. Wow. God bless you. Amen. Enjoy your thank studies. You. Enjoy your studies. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Zuma. Amen, Papa. We have callers on the line. Thank you so much, my father. Amen. The next caller is Mama Maureen from Rustenburg with prayer requests as well as testimonies. Amen. Mama Maureen, greetings. Hi, Papa. Hi, how are you, my father? I'm fine. I'm fine. Hello, Papa. Yes, hello. How God can help you today? Generally, uh, a testimony. Amen. Uh, amen. A testimony of a king. One I came about a conoco in a salary, and a data marketing to hold on, but it's a little bit of accommodation somewhere for the PNB or by a correlative thing with the Rubala group. So, Honan and Bacono, Bala Palatin, say the twice, but I'm not. And then the other <coughs> papa. Yes, continue, mom. Okay. And then the other testimony came almost about two years. And in the non-stop, it continues, especially when I'm during the night, not only now, so I don't know that it's easy to do. Amen. Amen. And um, my, I've got the, the prayer request, yeah. Okay, Mama, before you yeah. continue, can can that at the studio help uh, interpret what Mama was saying? Amen, Papa. She's saying that um, she has two testimonies of which one is regarding her children, um, whom Amen. whenever they would come to visit, they would not sleep at their home, meaning her house. They would sleep Amen. at the relatives' houses or they would look for a BNB. and b But ever since they were prayed for by our father, they are now able to sleep at home. And <laughs> Amen. 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 We thank God. We thank God. Can you continue, my Father? Amen. And the other testimony is that um, she she used to cough a lot. Um, she spent a, a couple of years coughing, especially at night. But then after she received prayers, that cough is no more. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my spirit. Can you continue, Mama? Okay. Thank you so much, Papa. <clears throat> um, I've got the, the, the prayer request here, Papa. Yes, Mama. Uh, my my problem is uh, I've got my, my legs are, are painful and they become swollen, especially uh, during the night when I, I'm on bed. They will be easy. You said what is painful? My legs are painful and they become swollen. Okay. Yes, especially when, while I, when I'm sleeping, they become. Amen. And then in the morning, yes, and then in the morning they will be so painful that I'm 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 able to walk. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, and yes. then the, the other the other thing is the um, one. Um, Papa spoke about I think it was uh, 
c'est pour ce qui est de la Papa, mais vous avez dit que vous avez dit que vous avez dit que vous avez dit que vous avez dit Department of Education, until now, I've not received anything from them. So uh, during the week, I went to the office and then asked them about my uh, uh, things. And then they said, the, the comment about my files, and then they said the files are still in the, in the office. They not yet uh, sent them to the uh, Department of Education. So I'm worried about them. <clears throat> Amen. Uh, and, uh, at, the, at the studio, can you please uh, clarify to me about uh, this education uh, part, Department of Education part? Pardon? Pardon, Papa? Yes, Papa. No, um, yes. Yes. yes Our mother is saying that uh, she's currently on pension and yes. uh, she submitted her documents um, early last year in December. And um, she was told that the, the 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 queue is too long. They are not going to um, attend to her her things now. Therefore, she's just asking for prayers um, for 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 the process to be sped up. Thank you so much, Mama. Don't worry. We thank God. We thank God. Remember what Papa just uh, spoke. He spoke the mm. word from above. It's not about mm -hmm. gift, but Papa said the spiritual, the spiritual blessings are above all. Amen. Yeah. And Amen, those spiritual, Papa. those spiritual blessings covered everything. They were given to us even before mm -hmm. the foundation of this earth. Amen. Amen, Papa. So because of your DNA, everything is sorted. You were blessed. Yeah. So no one can block your blessings. Amen, Amen. Papa. So let us give Amen, thanks Papa. to God. Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I speak to those legs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those swollen legs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak the spiritual blessings from above. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is no sickness in the body of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank God that there is no sickness in the body of Christ. I speak to those swollen food right now in the name of Jesus Christ, those swollen leg right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, Father, I thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your spiritual blessings upon this kingdom of yours. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that there is no condemnation and there is no sickness in this kingdom of yours. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you. Father, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak your word in this department of education. I say, Father, I thank you. As you release her finance in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Holy Spirit. As you release and you, as you go through, my Father, to that system that's supposed to allocate her. Right now, Father, I thank you. Those are your spiritual blessings. Father, I thank you that there is no cue. There is no cue that he's supposed to wait for. Father, there is no database that is full. Father, we thank in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that in your spiritual realm, there is no time. Father, we thank you that we not live by time. Father, we thank you that we live by presence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the one continuous day. Lord, I thank you that this money, this finance is released continuously, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there is no cent that will remain in this department of education. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for your blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen, Papa. Don't worry, Amen, Mama, you are blessed. Amen, Papa. And then the Amen. other one, Papa, is um, in 2014, 
I was um, I was working at the um, uh, departmental health. Yeah, and yes. I as as an active departmental health. Amen. And then until now, I didn't receive any salary for for for. Yeah, I worked for ten months, and then I didn't receive any salary from the department. But my documents were signed and sent to 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 uh, the, the the offices. Don't worry, Mama. Okay. All 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 is well. Don't worry. All is well. Amen. Yes, as we are, as we are, as we are, we were giving thanks about the yes. spiritual blessings that you hold, the spiritual yes. blessings upon your life. Don't worry, everything yes. is done. Amen. Amen. And then the last one, Papa, is um, I've got a problem at home. Amen. You know, during the night, the, the cats were running in the yard and they were busy making a noise crying. And, and immediately when they cry like that, I, will be, I won't be able to sleep during the night and in the morning <clears throat> about three o'clock during the time when I started to sleep. I will be unable to sleep when, when they make that noise. You won't be able to sleep because of being afraid, or why? No, every time when these cats are, are making noise in the, in the uh, crying in the in the yard, yes, that that is the time when uh, I will be unable to to sleep. Amen. Now we thank God. Remember, uh, no cats supposed to wake you up, right? Amen. But only the Spirit of God must wake you up. For you, yes, you Papa. remember to, for as Papa was saying to Sister Rosemary, that when some other things are happening, it's because it's supposed to happen so that you 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 will pray for others. Amen, Papa. Amen. She started early Amen. the redemption of body. Mm-hmm was there, but only for mm-hmm. that was to pray for us. Amen? Okay. Who are going Thank to start on January. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, so same thing applies. Right now we are going to pray for those cats never to to interfere with your your, your, your sleep, to interfere with your, your rest, but yeah. you are not supposed to rest. <laughs> you are supposed now to, mm-hmm. to wake up on that type of those cats even though the cat will never be there. But remember, if the cat used to come at one o'clock now, no cat will wake you up, but Christ will wake you up to pray for us. Amen, Papa. Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we come against any witchcraft in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that you protect your loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we speak life light upon this family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We split, we spit your blood, my father, upon the yard in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we split your divine glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you that this is your in- intercessor right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let her rest so that he can wake up. You wake her up, my father, to give glory and worship you. You wake her up, my Father, to give glory and pray for others in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as from right now, we thank you that you are going to wake her up so that she will give you praise, so that she will worship you, so that she will pray for others and continue. Thank you that there is no witchcraft against her family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for her rest. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for her praying and giving you thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, Papa. God bless you. God bless you, General. You come back with a testimony. God already released your money in both 
Amen. department, you will come back and you will be flourishing those rents, <laughs> the Amen. currency from above, not even rents, because that money, it will be the money that you'll never, you'll never think about. The money that you, you are not supposed to get. Amen, Papa. They will give you even the interest, my father. They will give you even the Amen. interest. They are owing you. <laughs> Amen. Thank God we are waiting for Amen. that testimony. Amen. 